which the seven says given that um, 17 plus n plus 27 are consecutive terms of an AP find the arithmetic mean now for 17 plus m plus 27 now for our ap a here our first term is what 17. now our common difference is going to be m minus 17 and also our common difference can also be 27 minus m so from here we can equate the common difference so we'll say since this is equal to this we cannot say m minus 17 is equal to 27 minus m now let's collect like terms this will be m minus m coming over will become plus m is equal to 27 minus plus minus 17 coming over becomes plus 17. so this is going to be 2m is equal to 27 plus 17 is going to give us 44 if our m is going to be 44 over 2 and that will give us um 22. Now, knowing that our m is 22, therefore our ap is going to be 17 plus, this will be 22 plus, this will be 27. So now you can see that the common difference is what? 5. So d is 5. And for d here also is 5. So this is what our um, ap looks like. Now it says find the arithmetic mean. Now, mean is going to be 17 plus 22 plus 27 divided by 3. So, um, so for us to get this, mm, okay, so now we're going to put this on our calculator. So bring my calculator to this place. This is going to be 17 plus 22 plus 27. This will give me 66. So this is going to give me 66 over 3. And this is still going to give me 22. So our mean is 22. Now, question 8 says the transpose of a matrix A is minus 145. So if the transpose is minus 145, find A. Now, if a transpose is equal to minus 145. Therefore, A will be just invert the matrix. Let the rows become the column and the column becomes the row. It's going to be minus 1, 4, and 5. So this is A. Okay, so B says, given that um, 1, 2, 3 into 1x5 is equal to 24, find the value of x. Now we're going to multiply this matrix. One times one is going to be one. It's going to be one times one plus this will be two times x plus it will be three times five, which is equal to what twenty-four. So this is going to be one plus two x plus fifteen. It's twenty-four. This is going to be two x plus sixteen. It's equal to twenty-four. Now collecting our like terms. 2x is going to be 24 minus 16. So 2x is going to be 24 minus 16. It's going to give us um, 8. Therefore, our x is going to be 8 over 2. And that will give us um, 4. So question 9 says, a number is chosen at random from the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Find the probability that it is a perfect square. Okay, so um, what are perfect squares? So I want to divide my book into two. So perfect squares in this number are perfect square. Any number that has a that can be we can find the square with that um four and nine because four is what two square nine is what three square. So that means we have two outcomes. So probability of having a perfect square will be 2 over, what's the total set of numbers? 1, 2, 3, that's 10. So this will be 2 over 10, which is what? 1 over 5. Now, the B part of the question says, if we have 8x is equal to 128. Now, how do we solve this? This is an initial equation. Equation. So, 8 raised to power x. 8 is what? 2 raised to power what? 3x. So, x is still here, which is equal to 128 is what? 2 raised to power um seven 
2 raised to the power 6 and 5 is 32, 2 raised to the power 6 is 64, 2 raised to the power 7 will give us 120. So now we know that our base are equal, so we can now say 3x is equal to 7 by cancelling out our base because they are equal. So at this point we say collect like and um, we make x the subject of the formula x would be 7 over 3 which is equal to 1 2 whole number that would be 1 over 3. So our final answer it's um, 2 whole number 1 over 3. Now question 10 says set a equal to prime number le um, less than 12 list set a. Now to list set a they're going to be a will be this will be the set prime numbers less than 12 2 3 um 5 we have 7 and we have 11 so these are the prime numbers less than 12 now b says b part of the question says the diagram below shows a sector a o b arc Arc A, B subtends an angle 21 degree at the center. Given that the area of the sector is 14.85, calculate the radius. Okay? Now, we've been given the area of this sector. So, one thing you need to know is the formula of area of sector. Now, the formula for the area of the sector is given as um, theta over 360 multiplied by pi r squared so this is the formula for the area of the sector now we've been given the area of the sector as 14.85 is equal to the angle is what 21 over 360 times our pi is given as 22 over 7 times we're looking for radius so 7 here it's going to be 1 7 in 21 is going to give us what um, that's um, 3 so at this point we have um, 14.85 is equal to 3 times 22 will give us 66 over 360 r squared. So remember your dot is here. So collect um cross multiplying. This is going to be 14.85 times 360 is equal to 66 r squared. Okay, so at this point we can make r squared the subject of our formula. R squared is going to be 14.85 times 360 divided by 66. So let's bring in our calculator again so we can punch this. So this is going to be 14.85 times 360. That's this divided by 66. So um, our R squared. Is equal to 81. Therefore, our r is going to be square root of 81, and that's going to give us a 9. Now, let's check our unit it's what cm. So, our radius is going to be 9 cm. That's the final answer.